It's a great day for a drive, especially in a 2023 F350 Lariat in azure gray, black leather interior, seating for five, four doors, and a six and a half foot box. This vehicle has a 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel engine. It's a V8 with a 10 speed automatic transmission and it's a four by four. This is a workhorse. These trucks have always been workhorses, but especially when you add in things like the FX4 off-road package, which includes skid plates. You've got the cab steps on the side and in the cutouts in the bumper to get in. You also have a tailgate step, a trailer tow package. As well, on the tailgate, you have two measuring sticks there, one metric, one imperial, and so many more features. If you'd like to take this vehicle out on a test drive, you can book it online at islandford.ca. Stay tuned, we're going to have a look inside and also under the hood. windows and mirrors. The B&O badging for your audio system and a memory for three drivers. The driver's seat is powered with lumbar and you've got these nice carpeted mats, electronic parking brake, power pedals, high mount lighting, lighting controls, LED side view mirror spotlights and your tailgate release. There's a grab handle and a running board making it easier to get in. And then on the side here you have power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. On the face of the steering wheel you have your lane keeping, cruise control volume, your menu, and hands-free dialing. Now this is a push start, so my foot's on the brake, key's in the pocket, and we're gonna push the engine start stop button. On the dash, any important messages, the odometer reading, and we're gonna get into the menu. And I have grabbed this vehicle before the techs have had a chance to put it through the shop. So we're having a little bit of a preview here. So you're gonna notice that the screens are a little bit more finicky and slow, and that's simply because it hasn't been calibrated yet. So the main menu is my view, trip fuel, heads up display, gauges, off-road, towing, status information, navigation, phone, audio, vehicle maintenance, settings, and these all have sub-menus. And heads up display, I don't know how well you can see it, I can see it, it's just telling me the time right now, the temperature outside, and in the center is the um, kilometers that we're going, which of course is zero right at the moment. There's a Beano badging. You get a little place to put items, and then that's your exhaust brakes. And here's your camera. So I'm not in gear. I'm simply taking a look out the front by pushing the camera view, and that's where I am in space. I press it again, and I'm out of there. And then we can go into sources, AM, FM, Sirius Satellite Radio, as well as Bluetooth. And on the side, you'll notice there's another little screen, and that is just sort of a sub screen off to the side. You can go up and down in that as well. There's the arrows and the little pages. And then you can touch on the bottom for the different things that you want. So there's navigation, we come up with the map and I'm just gonna turn down the fan a little bit. There we go. And so you choose your destination there. In the settings, we can go in for different options and slide through. So you can change the look of your display. You can set up your um, measurements to be kilometers, miles. You can change the language. You can change the temperature. Uh, from Celsius to Fahrenheit and back and forth and so forth in there. So there's your software updates. When you go into features, that's where your owner's manual is, towing, zone lighting, and driver assist. So now if we go and put our vehicle in reverse, we're going to see our backup camera view. So here we are again in space and there's the view from the back and there's green, yellow, reds just telling us how close we are to other vehicles or objects when going in reverse. There's your center line and I'm just going to put us back into park. And then down below we have volume and tuner, dual climate control, heated and cooled seats for driver and passenger, heated steering wheel, your front and rear defrost as well as AC and max AC. And then off to the side is a pro trailer backup, integrated trailer brake controller and drive mode. And you've got four by four with locking differential. When we dial through the drive mode, you're gonna see it appear on the dash. So there's normal. And then we have slippery roads. And it's telling you it's about to shift to four by four off-road and now we'll take a look at the screen. So this is showing us when we're in off-road, the tracks. And so here's an interesting thing. So we have trail turn assist, which allows you to do tight turns or to even do donuts. And um, this would be not on pavement. You would be doing this on slippery or loose gravel, that kind of thing. So let's go back in here. And then there's the slippery roads there's normal again and there's tow haul 
and then back in again. So I'm just dialing through to the different, there's Eco. So depending on the road conditions, the weather conditions, what you wanna do, this is showing you the different views and giving you more or less traction. And then down below here, we have a USB-C, USB, and we have a wireless charging pad. You just press that and it blows right up for you. You've got lots of areas to put items. You've got a couple of cup holders. Your armrest opens up. Got a nice little bin in here. You take that out. And you've got outlets down below to charge and connect. You just pop that it back in there. And then we've got a 12 volt. You've also got a 120 volt. Your locking glove compartment, your upper uh, glove compartment as well. And the button is what releases it. And then you just pop it down. There you go. And then you have an auto dimming rear view mirror lighting controls, upfitter switches, universal garage door opener, and you probably noticed this twin panel moonroof. Nice blue skies today, so it's pretty obvious. You have a power screen, that's that one there, and then this is the power tilt and slide for the moonroof. It goes all the way back there. So you can control light and air and grab handle in the body, just making it easier to 20 inch wheels, black running board, body color door handle with intelligent access. That means when the fob's in close proximity, you can lock and unlock the doors and keyless entry keypad, driver's side fuel cap, cab step. And in the rear, you have the body colored handle with the backup camera and the LED light to the right. Backup sensors on the bumper, four and seven pin connector, trailer hitch, and a locking spare tire. And then when you're ready to bring down that tailgate, you simply double click your fob. It'll power it down for you and it gives you the ability to get into this truck very easily. You've got box link as well as outlets on the side. Here's your seven pin connector. You have a measuring tape, both Imperial and metric. And it also has a tailgate step. You just pull this out, that yellow button is just a handle that pulls out and gives you some stability getting in and out of the truck. And then when you're ready, just close it up, lock it up and walk away or jump in and head out on your latest adventure. And on your fob, you have remote start. Speaker in the door, as well as power windows. And you're seeing the B&O badging for your audio system. There's a grab handle in the body and seating for three in the back with a 60-40 split. Simply lift the seat with one hand, it's in the upright position and your bin is collapsible. Then pull the tab, it'll bring the seat right down. There's anchors at the base to be able to tether baby seats. And then you've got the armrest in the center will just bring that down with a couple of cup holders. And there is also carpeted mats on the floor, slim pockets on the back of the front seat. And in the center, you're seeing a couple of cup holders and then the heated seats for back here, USB outlets. And you've also got your 12 volt, a 120 volt. Up top, that nice twin panel moonroof, lighting and hooks. And in the back, access to a power sliding window with rear defrost. Sensors and camera in the rear six and a half foot box, privacy glass in the back windows, power scope, telescoping, trailer tow mirrors, blind spot information system, LED headlights, fog lights, tow hooks, clearance lighting, and so many more features. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you and we'd love to hear your comments.